Jason Lewis, and today I am so very fortunate to be behind the wheel of a 2012 Aston Martin V8 Vantage S Roadster. Definitely one of the most handsome cars ever penned by an engineer. Matter of fact, this car is so good looking, it makes things around it look better. What's that? My director Jamie is telling me to, he's definitely thinking that my rugged good looks are probably playing off of the car a little bit too much, so I definitely feel this composition's good. He says so. Let's tell you about the car. Breathtakingly gorgeous. The profile of the 2012 Vantage S is classic, yet the details reveal much more. This car exemplifies perfect balance. Sleek, elegant lines give way to muscular flares and bulges in all the right places to reflect and insinuate at the performance that may be lurking underneath. So here are some of the specs on this magnificent beast. 4.7 liter V8, churning out about 430 horsepower and 361 foot-pounds of torque. An absolutely perfect balance. Now, I hate to sound like this, but I'm used to more horsepower in a car that's shaped like this, so amazing, and kind of in that upper echelon of sport cars. But that number is deceiving. This car is really fast. Now, it's not about getting off the line and doing quarter mile drag races in this car. This car is about blasting up a canyon, cruising across country, and it's really amazing how that balance has played out to perfection in this vehicle. And then, just listen to it. Now for 2012, Aston has tweaked and added several things to the Vantage this year. The whole navigation system is new, very advanced, not the carryover from the Volvo in years prior. The steering ratio, much faster in this car. Suspension, way more advanced, way more refined. Absolutely strikes the perfect balance between sports car and touring car. And then there's the sound. wants to play, let's play. Now which would you rather be on, that bike or in an Aston Martin, going the same speed on this beautiful canyon road? Look how little effort this is. This car is so cool that my 13-year-old nephew actually asked for his dorky uncle to pick him up from school for the first time. The Aston didn't exactly blend in with the rest of the cars in the queue. Talk about making this kid's day. You like it? Yes, it's sweet. Who knew that a 13-year-old could just so eloquently describe this car in three words? It's sweet. Yeah, it's pretty nice, huh? You are so right, Michael Dean. This car is freaking sweet.
to say it with this big dumb grin, but this car actually makes me feel giddy. Wow, the world just blurs by. This ferocious roar is chasing you up this canyon. The tires are clawing and scratching for traction. The car is just perfectly composed. I feel like a superhero right now. shift which I've been really slow to warm up to has become an absolute blast I think it just took a little bit of learning and getting used to my friend Stuart McIntosh over at Galpin Aston Martin he knows as much about Aston's as anybody on the planet he told me the trick on how to really get the most out of this transmission if you read the book, it says keep your foot in the same spot on the gas, grab a pedal, and it'll get the next gear for you. But there's a slight drop in acceleration and before it gets the next gear. Now, Stuart taught me that if you breathe your foot off the throttle, right as you make the shift, it makes a crisper, firmer, and a smoother shift. And it's so much fun. Watch this. go on the record right now and say that this just might be one of the best sounding V8s on the road right now and I honestly could say without a doubt I like the sound of this V8 better than the V12 there's a certain brutal nature to this yet this British refinement that you just don't hear very often watch I'd like to thank Galpin Premier Collection for letting me borrow this car and running it through its paces for this video. Until next time, enjoy your drive.